Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the review of classical music history. In our music class we've learned that there are six different time periods in classical music. There is medieval, renaissance, baroque, common practice, romantic, and the modernist era. All right, so if you zoom in a little bit, let's talk about medieval history. Medieval history was from 1000 to 1400. It took place in Western Europe. Let's go to Western Europe. Hey, there's the middle school. Let's go to uh, Mr. M's Honda. Mrs. Frizzle had a magic school bus. Mr. M has a Honda that has vertical takeoff. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then we sail east across the Atlantic Ocean to Europe. All right. So all of this big mess is Europe. We're talking about the left side, right? The western half of Europe. We're talking about Germany, Italy, France, Spain, Austria, all in here. That's where we're talking about in medieval times, all right? We're, uh, what was going on here? Music notation was invented. It was invented by Christian monks in monasteries. That means, you know, the five lines, the four spaces with music notes, this music staff, that was invented in its earliest form in the medieval times. The kind of music they made with it was Gregorian chant or plain song. You know, it follows the teachings of St. Gregory. The characteristics, the music that it sounded like, it was religious, that means sacred, right? A cappella, that means music for only voices, and monophonic, it has one sound. Everybody sings the same part. So if we go to the classical music playlist, we hear the monks singing, and they're all singing the same exact part, monophonic. All of the singers are sing singing the same exact part. Monophonic. All right, so, and after that, the Renaissance happened. The Renaissance happened in 1400 to 1600. Where did it take place? It took place in Western Europe. It started in Florence, Italy. So the Renaissance started in Florence, Italy. So if we go to Central Italy, here is Florence. Here it is. The Arno River, right? It has the dome, Il Duomo. And that's Florence, Italy. All right, so if we zoom in, there is the dome. This is where the Renaissance started. The Renaissance was home to famous artists such as Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo. Raphael and Donatello, just like the Ninja Turtles. All right, it comes from the Italian word Renascimento, which means rebirth. There is a burst of creativity in the arts. All of these things benefited in this time period. Music, poetry, literature, art, philosophy. All right, music turned from a chore, a task, something that the monks did, into an art form. Composers realized you could be creative in, you know, writing the music. Right? The printing press was invented, so instead of writing everything by hand, you could make a thousand pages in a day with the printing press. Um, the style of music, lots of composers wrote madrigals. That is a sacred a cappella religious song to sing. Characteristics, as we just said, it's sacred, it's a cappella, and during this time period, it went from monophonic to polyphonic. So people sang in layers, in harmony with different voices. So if we're listening to this, we could hear them singing in layers, in harmony. And we could also hear, you know, the different layers and just in general, it's a lot more complicated, more intricate, more creative than medieval times. So that's the difference between medieval and renaissance music, monophonic and polyphonic. 
Next we have Baroque history. Baroque history was from 1600 to 1750. We're still in Western Europe. Baroca comes from the Portuguese word that means disfigured pearl, a little much of a tooth, little too much of a good thing. The music was very fancy, very ornate, very decorated, lots of notes to make it sound royal, rich, fancy, snobby sounding. Um, concerts were invented before you would hear music at a party or a celebration or a festival or as we heard in church. Now they had concerts where you would go somewhere just to see music. That concept of a concert was invented during the Baroque time period. There's styles of music. There's the concerto, there's the opera. The concerto and the opera. Um, concerto is a song for a whole orchestra that features one instrument as a soloist, a concerto. So if we get, check out a concerto. So we see the whole orchestra. And if we skip ahead, we see a soloist. So this is a violin concerto, which means it's an orchestra with a violin soloist. All right? Then there was also opera. Opera was invented, you know. Um, opera is a dramatic performance with music, right? Um, so here's the first opera ever, Orfeo. And they're happy, and then people die, and then everybody's sad, right? Opera. The music turned from, you know, focusing on religious music to not religious music. Secular means not religious. A cappella um, started to become instrumental music, music for just instruments. And some of those instruments included the pipe organ and the harpsichord. All right, the Common Practice Era is from 1750 to 1825. It took place in Western Europe, in Vienna, Austria. All right, so that the uh, Vienna, Austria was the hub, the musical center of this time period. So we go to Austria and we go to Vienna and this is where you know Mozart went, Haydn, Beethoven, they all ended up in Vienna, Austria. Just kind of like Hollywood is where all the actors go nowadays, right? So there's Vienna, Austria. This time period was a focus on being more simple, being more perfect, being the best, refining the notes to, you know, instead of having a million notes to make it as fancy as possible, they only wanted the best notes. It was inspired by ancient Greek art and architecture, and many historians consider this the peak of classical music, you know, which features the music of Mozart and Beethoven. There were symphonies, there were string quartets, and there were sonatas. So, in these videos, um, let's take a look. Um, a symphony is, you know, music for an entire orchestra. And this will have to be continued in part two.